In this code search quick tip, we will be talking about saved searches. So let's say I go ahead and do a search. Let me go and get a repo. I'll say Facebook slash react. And I'm going to search for, uh, let's do to do. So this is in case I want to keep a track of the to do's in my repo. We're looking at 2.6 thousand. Oh, it's calling out some functions. So let's do a quick update. Let me wrap this in a literal string and I'm going to do that. Okay, so we have 1,000 results. Uh, what I can do here is click Actions, click Save Search, and I'll be able to save the search so that I can always come back to it. It would get tedious to write out all of those search parameters every single time. So what I want to do here is save this search so that I can always come back to it. I'm going to copy all of these parameters right here, and I'll click Actions and go down to Save Search. So what we have is the option to save this to our user, or if you have the access to do it, to save it to the organization level. Right now, I only have the user, so I'm going to keep it there. Click Save Query. We're taken to this page where we go ahead and create a new search. Owner is me. I'm going to say React To Do's. And down here, Query Pattern Type Keywords will leave that there, and then we're going to paste in everything that we just wrote in and that is context, repo in Facebook React, and slash slash to do. I'm gonna keep this as, I'm gonna go ahead and publish it, so just uncheck that draft checkbox, so it means other people are able to use this as well. Create save search, and there we go. So now in my save searches under my name, React to do's, I can run the search, and we get taken directly back to that page that we uh, saw before as far as the search results. You can also click your face here and go down to save searches. That's where we're at. And then you can click run search from here. And that's how you get back to your saved searches. So it's really helpful when you need to rerun a bunch of searches. And if you want to just have them conveniently in one place, use saved searches.